All right, so I've been getting an increase in the amount of people telling me that their game is crashing after the recent update for Fallout 3 on Steam, and that it's crashing specifically when they click the play button on the launcher, and it wasn't crashing before the update. So I'm gonna show you what that crash looks like and then how to fix it. So let's go ahead and click the play button on the launcher, and you will see that it will launch Fallout 3 in a black window, and then it will just instantly crash. Now, in order to resolve this crash, all you want to do is open up your file explorer, go to documents, my games, follow three, and within follow three, delete all of the files ending in .ini, as well as the render info.txt. Just simply delete them and you're good to go. So now we can go ahead and close our file explorer, open Steam back up, launch follow three. And as you can see, the follow three launcher will now say that it's detecting our video hardware and it's setting the video options accordingly. We can click OK and it will let us know that it's set it to high quality settings. From here, you can go to options and set whatever settings you would like. So I've set all my settings, click OK, and now click play. And as you can see, follow three will now launch as expected. Now, the reasoning for that specific crash is because you have previously edited your .ini files and either one of the settings that you changed beforehand is no longer compatible with the Fallout 3 update or something odd had occurred when Fallout 3 was detecting your hardware. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did not, please let me know down in the comment section below. There are some crashes that are completely unrelated to this issue. So if you get an error code or anything like that when you're launching the game, give me that information down in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you out. Just keep in mind that currently at the time of making this video, Fallout Script Extender and any mods that require it are not compatible with this current version of Fallout 3 on Steam. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and got something out of it. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe to the Good Fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off.